Hey guys, how's it going out there? Uh, my name is Zoltan and welcome to my Bass Lounge here. Now, today I want to take a moment before we get into all this real nice playing um, and learn all this great stuff. I just want to take a little bit of time out and, um, and discuss with you, basically talk to you about your standing and your sitting position with the instrument. Because it's, it's kind of a, a simple thing to do and a simple thing to achieve. But it's a really important thing because a, a real nice comfortable positioning and comfortable uh, stance both standing and sitting uh, with your bass will actually allow your hands to play freely, to concentrate on playing instead of having to grab the instrument, having to actually help the instrument stand there for you. So, um, like I said, it's really important and we'll just take a little time out to, to, re uh, to concentrate on it uh, for a couple of minutes here, okay? And make sure that when you start playing, you'll be as comfortable as possible. All right. Now, the very first thing I would say about this is um, it is really important to kind of pin the instrument down maybe a couple of points, maybe two or three points and by then, uh, by then you'll get a nice firm uh, grip of, of the bass so you will have, you'll be able to concentrate on playing like I said before. Now the first thing I'll do, let me, let's just say I'll pretend I'm just picking this instrument up from the ground so I'll just, there it is, I just picked it up okay and um, at this point, what I want to uh, want, what I want to have the first thing is that um, the instrument, as you can tell, will cover about half of my body, just like that. Yeah. So if you're looking at me from, well, you're looking at me in, um, on your computer right now, you'll see the instrument covering half half of me right here. And also that the instrument is actually parallel to me. So let's say if I had a line here where I'm standing, and the bass would have its own line then we are parallel to each other. Okay, so that's that's important as well. And it's about, um, it's maybe a little bit less than an inch um, the uh, distance between the bass and myself here. Okay, so that's cool. That's a really good start. And now all you have to do, <laughs> really, it's, it's quite simple, um, that you just lean your instrument down towards yourself. And as you lean it towards yourself, you start to turn it in towards yourself, just like this. It's a very quick motion here, very easy actually. And very soon, the bass will just be leaning on you, like this. Okay. Now the reason I said to have the bass to your left, covering half your body, is because you, if you put the bass up here or up there, then you will never be able to get that kind of um, real nice connection and, and that um, that positioning of the instrument um, related to your to where your body is. Okay. So let's just let's just do that again. Let's just. Um, Considered on that, on, that, on that nice simple motion. Lean your instrument down, turn it inside towards you, and at this point, remember we were parallel to the instrument. Now at this point, my line is still here, but the instrument's line just kind of came out about maybe 30 to 40 degrees uh, against where I'm standing. Okay, so that's a uh, to me. I mean, um, that's a real nice um, that's a real nice angle there. And it's a real comfortable angle uh, to really be able to access everything that you have to uh, you, you have on the fingerboard. You know, all the um, different positions, lower positions, mid range, uh, thumb position, the high range up here. So everything is like uh, like as you can see, it's very well accessible. You know, in this kind of positioning of the bass. Okay, and let me just uh, show you where uh, where the bass actually met um, met my body here. Basically, we all have this little groove in between our um, in between our legs and the stomach. So just about at, at your hip, where your hip is right right here. The back of the base, the back rib of the base, will come and 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 um, <coughs> basically rest on that little dent that we have between our legs and the stomach. So it's, um, you can see it on the uh, just right next to me here. Sorry, here. As I put it down, the back rib, this part of the base here, can very comfortably just come down and rest there about your hip length, hip height between your leg and your stomach. Okay, and that's to me that feels like a real nice, real, real comfortable stance, uh, a comfortable positioning, and. I also feel that the base is quite firm on the ground. So it's already been pinned down, obviously standing on the, on the ground by the end pin. And I have pinned it down here at my hip, put the back rib on there, 
just on, on, onto my body there into that little dent. And what happens actually when, when you start to play with your left hand, then automatically your thumb will pin the, uh, the back of your fingerboard down as well. So that's the third place where the instrument is now pinned down and, and really, um, really kind of held in a comfortable but a, a very good um, solid manner like that. Okay, so there you go. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And you can vary. Yeah. And the term walking bass doesn't mean that it's just going to walk away now. <laughs> Anyways, so um, at this point, I'm sure you'll be able to play quite, quite comfortably and with ease and your hands will feel that they, they are actually there uh, to play and not, not to hold the instrument down for you. Okay. Now, there is another thing I, I really need to talk to you about uh, considering standing with the bass or regarding standing with the bass. And basically that will be the role of your left leg and your left, uh, your left thigh and your left knee. Okay. Because um, when we play in our lower positions here and kind of up to our mid-range here, we can afford just to stand there quite normally and our, our, uh, both of our legs in a straight line. And just be quite natural, just just as as if you if you'd be standing without your bass, right? And that's fine. But the the minute you actually start to come up into your higher register, so you you'll start to cross the octave line and the octave uh, divider line, and you're now coming up to to your higher positions, to your thumb position up here. Yeah. I have a feeling that, that the bass is starting to wobble about a little bit because my hip as I'm leaning down is actually coming away from the instrument so it's not uh, supporting it that much anymore so what I have to do I'm gonna have to use my left leg and my left knee now to, to actually give me that support to, to make up for that uh, loss of that support there and all you have to do is basically you just um, step forward with your left leg and let the instrument let the back of the instrument uh, basically lean down onto your thigh some of your thigh and your neck and, and you I mean and your and your um, knee and with that you've got that nice big cushion your thigh and your knee pinning down the instrument and making sure that it's in it's in uh, that you've got a nice comfortable and, and uh, solid grip of um, over the instrument right so that's very important to do so you've you've got uh, you've got that nice grip back that you have lost by moving your hip away from the instrument so your left leg can really make up for that, okay? Just by that, so just standing up there, like you can see it in the picture there, yeah? Just like that, okay? And that's a real nice, great support. And then you can, and then you can play in those positions quite well. And the bass is really well pinned up, I mean pinned down, and also, as you lean down with your straight back, as we mentioned it before, use your straight back when you lean down to these positions, your shoulder here will just slide into this, into the corner of the, uh, of, of the neck here. So well, it's just, it's, it kind of, to me, it feels like actually the corner was designed for my, for my shoulder to, to get in there, you know. Cause it's just really, really well sitting in there. So I've got my core, I've got my shoulder, I've got my left leg, and there is obviously uh, the base is still standing on the ground. So I've got again three very, uh, very uh, positive and very strong uh, places where the base is pinned down for me and, and made sure that it's it's giving me a, a very good stance and a comfortable stance to play to play in. Okay, and you really can just com uh, concentrate on playing. hands being free okay now I'm gonna have to tell you that all this standing and all, all you know talking about standing and all that just kind of tired me out a little bit so um, what I'd like to do now let's let's just sit down and uh, we'll, we'll discuss how to sit with the bass okay alrighty so finally we get to sit down with the instrument so we, we get to relax a little bit all right now when you sit everything becomes uh, becomes much easier actually because first of all you're sitting so you can relax you don't have to stand anymore and also to uh, to put your instrument um, to your body, it's very simple. All you have to do is just again, just put it out in front of you, 
let it cover about half the width of your body again, just as you were standing. And just bring it down towards yourself, lean it down, and just basically turn it in so the back of the base will rest on the whole of, your, of the inside of your left leg here, on all of that huge big surface there. Yeah? And so look at what happens then. Because it's standing on the ground al already, and um, it's sitting on that, that huge surface of your leg, like I said. There's nothing else you have to do. That, that's it. You've done it. Uh, you've got uh, the base is there in position, and it's, you've got a real solid grip on it. Okay. But there are a couple of things that, that you need to make sure that are happening as well. And uh, the very first thing would be is to make sure that the height is still right. Okay, so just make sure that you're, uh, when you put your left hand on, um, into half position, your first finger will still be about your eye level. Yeah, so mine's a little bit higher, so I'm just going to put this down a little bit, this instrument. Yeah, so now it's about eye level, so my height is good. Okay, and the other thing will be is that um, you won't hunch with your back because when you sit, it's kind of easier and it's, it's, uh, you forget about your back and it's easier just to kind of go, oh, yeah, all right. I feel comfy like this. I'm just gonna play like this. But then again, your your uh, your back will not like that, and it will start to hurt if you do that. So so remember to still be straight, okay? And even when you start to come up to your higher positions here, yeah, up there, make sure that you're still as straight as possible. Okay, that's really is important. So these two things are very important. But now let me talk to you about a couple of real nice attributes that, uh, that the sitting position gives us. And well, like I said, we are sitting, uh, which is comfortable. But the main thing for me is that when you sit, your left hand can, can just really hang off the fingerboard because the, uh, the angle of the fingerboard has really drastically changed from when you were standing. When you're standing with the base, let's say this is the base and this is the floor here. As you were standing, the instrument was almost perpendicular to the ground, so there was not a lot of angle. There's not a lot of angle there that you could actually really uh, get a hold of with your fingers and, and use your arm weight. Okay, but once you sit, the instrument comes down a bit, so the fingerboard now is actually at, the, at a lesser angle to the ground. You see in between here, yeah, and so that will allow your left hand to really get a hold of the strings and really just hang off the strings and use your arm weight by doing that, by doing so, you know what I mean? So that's it. All you need to do is just make sure you've got the right positioning, right posture, and just ba simply put that down on a string, on any string, on any string, really, it doesn't matter. Make sure that, that, you, that you bring in your shoulder, like we discussed, to your lower strings, so, you, so you're not really bending your wrist, okay? But really all there is to it is, I'm actually holding my, my, uh, my shoulder up right now, but I'm just gonna release it in a second, look. And as I release all that arm weight, yeah, look at how it just really squeezed my fingers into the fingerboard and into the string. So I have very little work to do, very little squeezing to do to, to produce a sound, if, if, if any actually. Um, in most of the cases, you don't even really have to do, make too much effort. It's really is just to place your fingers as the playing itself. You know what note to play becomes becomes your effort, becomes your work, and not to squeeze the strings onto the fingerboard. So that way you're actually you're conserving your energy and you're also conserving your left hand. And and that way your left hand can become more open and will be able to do more because you're not uh, rigidly kind of squeezing it against strings and fingerboards and things like that. Okay. So that's a really, really great advantage. And another advantage is for your right arm in a standing, and I mean in a sitting position, there is such a great way to keep everything straight here. You know, your, your forearm, your wrist, your hand, and to really get into those notes and really create that nice big sound that we've spoken about before, you know. And it's so easy to really just kind of let your arm go and let your arm get into every note you're playing. Okay, like that. All right, then. So let's get those bases out of the cases, you guys, and uh, let's find that nice, comfortable stance and positioning of your instrument, both standing and sitting. And um, and let's get onto playing. And believe me, a, a nice position will really help you. Position of your bass 
will really help you in your playing. Okay. And thanks a lot for joining, uh, joining my bass lounge here. And there'll be lot, lots of other videos coming with all sorts of playing and uh, all sorts of stuff covered. But in the meantime, thanks a lot for hanging and I'll see you next time.